Well, hi everybody, welcome to Essential Contact for the 4th of May 2020. And this is the people of Jesus in Skellingthorpe and beyond, um, encouraging each other to keep coming to Jesus at the centre of our lives, coming to his word, listening to it and obeying it. And uh, I do encourage you to keep, keep up with your quiet times uh, of reading the Bible and praying to him, the living God who's called you into a relationship through Jesus Christ. Well, today's Bible verse is from 1 Peter chapter 5, verse 5. Peter quotes Proverbs 3 and he says this, God opposes the proud but gives grace to the humble. God opposes the proud but gives grace to the humble. You can't get away from this fundamental principle throughout the scriptures. But it's those who recognise that they're empty who God fills. It's those who bow down before him that God lifts up. Those who come and put themselves in God's place and uh, who think they're all absolutely fine, they hit head on and clash with God who wants to give. Um, and so those who are proud in that way are opposed, but those who are humble, God pours out his grace and lifts them up. There's so many examples in the Bible. The one I'm thinking of is um, often mentioned, those who live on the Mediterranean coast in Bible times, who have ships, who trade, uh, they um, are often shown as um, people who are proud. They think, they've, they think they're going to be invincible because they've got their trade and they're, they're, they feel like they're self-made people who are doing really great, who don't need God. But then, um, in those examples, God shows that actually he's in control and brings them low as he takes away those things they were trusting in. But he does that out of love because he knows those things they're trusting in, in their pride, uh, that's not the way to have life. And so in his mercy, he brings them down, gives them an opportunity to see just who they are before God so that they would trust him and receive life from his hands. Well, in the same way, um, coronavirus outbreak and lockdown will have brought some of us low. It will have shown up for us the things that we were trusting in, uh, thinking that we were absolutely fine on our own and didn't need God. It will have shown those things up uh, to be just um, unable uh, to keep us and save us in the long run. And it will, well, I hope, have given us a little wake-up call. So we'll look. In order to know life, you can't trust in these other things. You've got to turn to the living God in humility, recognising that he's in control and you're not. So God opposes the proud, but gives grace to the humble. I pray that you'll know uh, God's grace as you bow down before him and that you won't know the frustration and the clash, the danger uh, of coming face to face with the living God in opposition to you. Peter carries on, humble yourselves therefore under God's mighty hand that he may lift you up in due time. I encourage you today to know your place before God that you might know his amazing grace in your life. We praise him today for giving us his gift of new life in Jesus.